This is a quick video on JSX or TSX versus React.createElement. So I added some uh, data again. It's just an array of objects with a title, location, description, and also an icon, right? Because if we look here, you can see in the middle we have an icon um, and then a date. Now about this icon, what is this weird React create element, right? So very quickly, why did I do it like that? Well, um, we have these icons, so we have LU graduation cap. Right, so that's a component, it's a React component. So I could also do this, like this, in JSX format. But when we do this, we get an issue here because we are in a .ts file, not in a .tsx file. So if you write JSX, like JSX in a normal JavaScript file is incorrect syntax, you're gonna get an issue. That's what we get here. Um, now, if I would change this data into data.tsx, now that issue is gone. So in a TSX file, I can write JSX uh, elements, components. Now, there's some very subtle differences uh, in, a, in TSX files and TS files. Generally speaking, it's, it's good to be very precise and uh, try to use just TS, TS files. So we do want to try keeping this a normal TypeScript file. But in a normal TypeScript file, we cannot write you know, a component or an, an element, a JSX element like this. So there's another way though that we can write that. And that's like this. So we can also say react.createElement. And this is actually what React is going to do behind the scenes anyway, right? So if you have a page, here we're writing, here we're, we're rendering our component, right? So what React is gonna do is gonna go through this uh, code here and it's gonna, it's gonna do a bunch of react.createElement, right, out of each of these. Right, so we can actually just write this. So you can react create element and then pass the name of that component. Right, and then we can keep, we can, we can, uh, this can stay a TS file. Or if you're not using TypeScript, that can stay a normal .js file. So you don't have to make it a JSX file. We can import this email. So I will say contact form email. It already suggested for me. And now what we can do is we can pass that here as um, as a component. Oops, I can pass this here as a uh, as a JSX component. So I can, and then we have to pass that as props, right? So here we can say it needs to get message and sender email. So now we can remove this text field and we can just pass the message, right? It's gonna be message is what we have here, message and sender email, right? Message is message, sender email, is sender email. All right, that's basically what we can do now, which is pretty cool. Now we get an issue here, obviously. What's the issue? And the issue is here we're using JSX in a normal TypeScript file, or you can also see it as JSX using in a .js file. You'll get the same issue, right? So to, we've, we've seen this issue before. So the quick fix here is to make this a TSX file. And so if I do this, we are allowed to write JSX in here. And actually, let's see what we get. Now, there are some subtle differences. And ideally, um, if it's not necessary, we do, we do want to keep .ts, right? So we, do wanna, we, we, we don't want to have this become a JSX file just because of this little snippet here. So there's an alternative way of writing this. And that's actually what React does behind the scenes, right? We've seen that before. So what we can say is React. And then we can just say um, React dot create element, right? So instead of writing JSX, which is basically just a, a synonym for what we're doing here with create element. So what you can what you can write here is react.createElement. Now we need to import React itself here. So here, um, import React, import React from React. Okay, and this is the same as doing this, but here we also have two props, right? So if you want to pass props with create element, you just have an object here as the second argument, and that's going to be a message, right? Message is message that we do, we do this. And here we can, we will just do like this, a sender email is going to be, it's going to be the sender email. So this is equivalent. What we're doing here is equivalent to this, right? So this is the same as this, right? So when you write, um, when you write JSX, with section heading and you use these components behind the scenes react will convert that 
to all of these react.create elements, right? So let's remove this. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.